Hey there Star Wars fans and welcome back to Ashmet Productions, a Star Wars and Lego Star Wars YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be going over every Imperial Inquisitor in Star Wars canon. The Imperial Inquisitors was a group of highly trained force sensitive beings that served the Empire, principally as Jedi Hunters, but also as leads on most Imperial tasks involving force sensitives. Most carry red bladed saber stars that span using a central circular hilt. There are 12 Inquisitors that we know of, but I think we can assume that there are more that we just haven't heard of yet. So let's get into it. The first Inquisitor is the Grand Inquisitor, a power owned male, who was the highest ranking Inquisitor, holding all of the other Inquisitors under his command, and he reported directly to Darth Vader. The Grand Inquisitor was originally a Jedi Temple Guardian who turned to the dark side during the Clone Wars, not too long before Order 66. As the leader of the Inquisitors, the Grand Inquisitor led the hunt for Jedi survivors and is thought to have been one of the most prolific Jedi killers ever, being up there with General Grievous and Darth Vader. The Grand Inquisitor was killed during a duel with Kanan Jarrus, where he allowed himself to be defeated, knowing that his failure to kill Ezra Bridger and Kanan Jarrus would incur a wrath worse than death from Darth Vader. Next is the second sister, also called Trilla Sunduri, who was a force sensitive female, previously a Jedi Padawan under Sir Jinder. She was considered to be one of the most powerful Inquisitors and was one of the first to join the Inquisitorius. She did not turn to the dark side during Order 66 or directly after, but she was captured by the Emperor and endured extensive torturing before eventually turning to the dark side and began working for the Empire and hunting Jedi, most notably Cal Kestis. The second sister was killed by Darth Vader shortly after he had sensed that she had turned back to the light. We then skip to the fourth sister, who is one of the Inquisitors we know very little about. In fact, we've never actually met her in canon, though we do know that Lena Graf captured this Inquisitor and impersonated her when infiltrating Darth Vader's castle. A unique feature about this Inquisitor was that she carried a lightsaber pike instead of a saber star. We can suspect that she was one of the weak Inquisitors as she was captured by non-Jedi. We don't know her final fate. The fifth brother is next, who was a grey-skinned humanoid male of an unknown species. He, like many others on this list, was originally a Jedi, though we don't quite know what position he held in the Order. He too fell to the dark side sometime after Order 66. The fifth brother often worked with the seventh sister, and the two tracked Kanan Jarrus, Ezra Bridger and Ahsoka Tano after the death of the Grand Inquisitor. He was considered quite brutish, thinking with his lightsaber rather than his head, and often had to be held back by his counterpart. He was killed by Maul on the planet Malachor during the confrontation that occurred there in 3 BBY. Next is the sixth brother, formerly called Bin Valen, and was a male inquisitor of an unknown species. A former Jedi, he turned to the dark side before Order 66 and joined the Inquisitor shortly after the formation of the Empire. The sixth brother was a powerful force user and a skilled duelist, even sparring with Darth Vader until Vader cut off his arm that is. The sixth brother was sent on an assignment to Rada to investigate the report of a Jedi on one of the agricultural moots. There, he met Ahsoka Tano, where she used the force to make his lightsaber and lightsaber crystals explode on him, killing him. She then took his crystals for her own lightsaber. The sixth Inquisitor on this list is the seventh sister, a Miriallan female, an Order 66 survivor. She was often thought of as one of the weaker Inquisitors, often going around with the fifth brother. As well as her lightsaber, she was often accompanied by probe droids. Along with the fifth brother, she tracked Kanan Jarrus, Ezra Bridger and Ahsoka Tano to Malachor, where she was killed by Maul. The eighth brother is next on the list, who was a male Tyrolean Django jumper. He was a particularly aggressive and cruel Inquisitor, and was often relied upon by the other Inquisitors to go into battle first and weaken the enemy. He was a skilled lightsaber fighter, and often used his acrobatic skills to defeat enemies. He had a special lightsaber hilt, one that had metal blades that extended from the hilt and could be used to injure enemies. He was killed on Manacor when he attempted to escape by flying with his spinning blade. However, the hilt had been damaged by Maul and he subsequently fell to his death. The eighth Inquisitor on this list is the Duotin female Nasana Tide, or the Ninth Sister. She was one of the most physically powerful Inquisitors, but being physically large actually in her case hindered her abilities with a lightsaber. She was capable against similarly big enemies, but often struggled against smaller, more athletic opponents. She had very powerful empathetic abilities, and often read the minds of opponents and interrogated prisoners. The Ninth Sister is one of the few Inquisitors we don't actually have a recorded death for. Next is the Tenth Brother, a Mirror Lucan male, 
formerly known as Posset Dibs. We actually know quite a lot about the Tenth Brother as a Jedi. The Tenth Brother was in fact a Jedi Master, unusually for an Inquisitor, as Masters were often more loyal to the Order. Although we aren't entirely sure when he left the Order, my best guess is before Order 66. One significant event we do know of before the Tenth Brother turned is his fight with Mace Windu. During the Clone Wars, he was sent on a mission to Hissrix with Mace Windu, where his faith in the Jedi Order was put in doubt and he proceeded to attack Windu, violently berating him and the Council. Windu defeated him, taking him back to the Council for trial, where he was put under rehabilitation in the Jedi Archives. The Tenth Brother was killed on a mission to Dark City on Mon Cala, where, along with the Sixth Brother and Knight Sister, and a squad of Purge Troopers, all of whom were former clones, he tracked down Jedi Padawan Ferran Bar. However, Bar began to calling them Jedi, before telling the Purge Troopers to execute Order 66, tricking them into killing the Tenth Brother. However, the other two Inquisitors managed to escape. These next two Inquisitors are ones that we know next to nothing about. In fact, we only know them as Unidentified Twi'lek Inquisitor and Unidentified Peladuvan Inquisitor. He was an all-black male Twi'lek who, as far as we know, was never a member of the Jedi Order. She was a red female Peladuvan, who was also not part of the Jedi Order, to our knowledge. They were part of the mission to capture and kill East Koth, alongside the Fifth Brother and Darth Vader. After Koth's death, the two shared a drink together, until Vader interrupted and drew his lightsaber on the two, seeing their camaraderie as a weakness. The Twi'lek told the other to run, whilst he temporarily delayed Vader, before running after. Soon after though, the two were located by Vader, and they chose to kill each other before they became his captives. The final Inquisitor that we know of in canon is known only as Jesur's master. Sometime after the Battle of Dathomir and Order 66, this female Inquisitor travelled to the planet Dathomir in search of power, instead of finding a Night Sister called Jesur, who had survived the Night Sister Purge. She took Jasur as her secret apprentice, training her in the ways of the Force. Jasur would eventually kill her master, this female Inquisitor, taking her lightsaber and pursuing a life as a mercenary. So guys, which of these Inquisitors is your favourite? If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe and turn your post notification bells on. May the Force be with you and I'll see you next time.